Welcome to module 2 topic types of impellers belonging to the rotating machinery master in science or by University of Zaragoza. Uh, an impeller is the rotating component of a centrifugal pump that accelerates the fluid inside the pump. The velocity gained by the fluid is transformed later into pressure as the fluid leaves the pump. As we can see in the picture, uh, two pictures of impellers, the fluid enters the impeller through the eye and then it is pushed by the veins or blades and leaves the impeller through these holes. Here you can see a picture of a vein or a blade. The impeller has also a bore to attach the drive shaft. The impeller is the pump component that has more influence on the pump performance. Actually, you can create a brand new pump by just modifying the impeller. It can change the flow, the differential head, the speed, therefore the specific speed and the pump performance and the pump application. In this slide we can see different impeller designs on the left uh, uh, column we notice each change, uh, each design has a different velocity triangle and thus different performance curves. By just changing um, one of the geometric uh, um, values of this impeller, you can alter completely the design of the pump. If we look at the uh, whether the impellers have leads or not, we can classify the impellers as open semi-opened or enclosed. The open impeller consists only of blades attached to a hub. It resembles a propeller. This impeller has low efficiency but it has to be used when it is necessary to clean the impeller and when there is risk of blocking. The semi-open impeller has a circular plate attached to one side of the blades. And finally the enclosed impeller, also known as shrouded impeller, has one circular plate attached to, uh, to each side. If we look at the uh, type of flow we have inside the impeller, we can classify the impellers in these three types, radial, axial and mixed flow. Um, in, in, the in the radial propeller, you can see, sorry, impeller, you can see the flow, this is the actual uh, direction of the flow and this is the radial direction. You can see this uh, uh, propeller is mostly or exclusively has, uh, the velocity has radial component. In this other uh, propeller, sorry, impeller, you can see the flow has mainly uh, an axial direction and finally in this uh, semi-axial impeller you can see the flow, the velocity has both the radial and the axial uh, component. If we look at the number of blades, um, we can classify, we can um, find different types of impellers. We uh, are going to call the channel, is this, uh, the channel of an impeller is the space between two blades. The number of, the number of channels mainly depends on the desired performance and noise constraints as well as the amount of and size of solid particles in the fluid. Impellers with 5 to 10 channels have proven to give the best efficiency and are used for fluid without solid particles. On the other hand, 1, 2 or 3 channel impellers are used for fluids with particles such as wastewater. And finally, uh, we close this topic review by providing you with some uh, references for further reading. You can find more information in the webpage of the Master in Science, Rotating Machinery, rotating.unisar.s. Thank you.